So a supermarket type na setting, hindi siya yung typical na hole in the wall na pet shop, but a big scale na supermarket type with all the fish, five pet categories, namely dogs and cats, fish, birds, small pets and reptiles, and all the accessories and foods and medications that you would need are available. So it's a one-stop shop for pets. Then our staff. There's a picture na kung saan nagkahagulo yung mga students during field trip. Kasi during our field trip, pag umikot yung mga bata, we always give them free fish. So free goldfish or free na guppy or any live bearer, we give it to them for free. And then once they go to the selling area in front, yun, sobrang chaotic na. Kasi nag-uunahan silang kumuha ng mga fish bowls, ng mga fish food, or they'll rather buy hamsters and whatnot. So, kanina, nandun tayo sa mga pets. Ito is something new siguro sa pandinig ng mga attendees. We also have our industrial business. Kasi sa lahat ng mga, ng mga business owners, I think it's a goal of everyone to diversify. Meaning, it's better to have different lines of business para in the cycle of the year, na kunwari, down yung economy or down tong trend, we always have something to back you up. So, diversity is always good. So we carry a full line of pumps and motors for all water sourcing needs. So from deep well pumps, boosters, uh, the watering, sludge pumps, dredging pumps, lahat ng needs for water handling. Water handling equipment, we have it available. This our warehouse. It's 200,000 square feet. We can fit 200 units of 40 foot container vans. Kanina sinabi ko, we're into the industrial business. No, at the back we have some field trips. I think they're Korean students. Yeah, they're Korean students who book their field trip today. <laughs> Someone knows how to speak ano, Korean in table number four. <laughs> just to make sure that we have all the different types and models on hand. Because we are the accredited suppliers for Maynila and Manila Water, plus all the rest of the local water districts. And ang pinaka important dito is, if you want to be accredited by them, you need to have the spare parts and the pumps on hand. Because any time you break down your pumps, you have to be able to replace it within the day. Because if not, walang tubig yung buong town, buong barangay, and everyone will be calling and magre so, we were accredited by having sufficient and enough stocks on hand at any one time. We have our own pump testing facility that can test pumps up to 150 horsepower. So, sa buong Philippines, there are only four pump testing facilities and we are proud to say that we're one of them and so far the newest and most advanced. We have our service center with over 12 service people which are who are 24-7 on call for any service and repairs and maintenance of pumps. Drilling service. We have percussion and rotary drilling rigs that can do up to 1,200 feet and 14 inch diameters. So since we're already in the line of water, we also got into the water purification division. These are the water filtrations and reverse osmosis systems. We supply to water refilling stations, to hospitals which they use for dialysis, and then also mga manufacturing companies for food processing. And aside from that, we decided to invest in our own tank factory. We manufacture our own stainless steel storage tanks and pressure tanks. And these are all big welded and state of the art. They're all ISO. And in that factory, we only have three people because it's fully automated. Also, agriculture and aquaculture division. So anything for livestock, for poultry, for bangos, for tilapia, for prawns. All of these, we have the vitamins, the feeds, the medication, the equipment. So kung sino man dito yung mga hatcheries or mga farms, please do come visit us or like talk to any staff so we could try to come up with some business. So there's the poultry, aquaculture. 
We also have our export business. We manufacture cat toys, cat houses, and small animal products, which we export to North America and Europe and some parts of Asia. Also, we have our own koi farm. We have a paparapple tayo naman, Japanese koi later, is because we have our own KHB3 biosecure facility. Yeah. Okay, now we're down to business. Kanina, medyo boring, no? I was talking about company profile and everyone was like, yeah, whatever, I hope she finishes talking soon because we want to talk about pigeons. So there, we're now with the pigeons. Actually, we started focusing a lot on the pigeon business last year. So, we have in lines from US, Europe, and Taiwan. So, the racing pigeons and also the fancy, before I forget. So, something about Bio Research is Pigeon Info. We have over 3,000 birds in total. We have two farms and multiplier facilities, four in house veterinarians, our own hospital, nursery, and hand feeding station. Right now, we have over 20 people. Yeah, over 20 people who are just there to take care and look after our pigeons. So that's a lot of yaya. And what is one of the objectives that we have? You mga na-attend na last meeting, alam nila to, kasi it's just a recap of what I said last time. Well, we really want is to import and breed purebred pedigree lines and sell it at a really affordable price. And also, we want to offer to all pigeon clubs, kanina, I think Alvin already mentioned, na our seminar hall, this venue, would be free to all club meetings ng mga pigeon associations or clubs. So feel free to contact us, get in touch with us, just in case you need the venue. Here are some of the samples ng mga pedigrees ng mga pigeon natin. Kanina, you were able to go around Nakita nyo yung pigeon gene bank. So far in our country today, no one has really focused or put their mind into coming up with a gene bank. There could be gene banks for rice in Erie, in UP, but no one really thought of coming up with one for pigeons. So because we're focusing so much on the pigeon line and industry, we wanted to maintain the purity of strain no mga pedigree lines natin. That's why we have our pigeon gene bank, which is over there. In pigeon gene bank, natin, we have 14 compartments, which are 2 by 2 and a half by 1 meter. And they have 28 grand pairing stock cages. Doon natin nalagay yung mga stock birds natin. So we got the best birds from the best people who are racing and well-known and also the important. We put them there in pairs and their offsprings would go into the compartments, which would be our parents. And yung mga anak yung mga parent stocks, which are the grandchildren, will be the one that are ready for selling. So doon, mamaintain natin yung purity, no line. Walang cross-breeding and whatnot. Kasi, <clears throat> just like in dogs, no? parang very time na kilala natin ng mga dog breeders. If you want to maintain yung strain ng no asmo, na it's really good and show quality, then you don't mix it with other breeds. If you mix it, then it becomes an ascal and you get have it papered, diba? And once it doesn't have paper, then it doesn't have value at all, diba? So that's also something, it's just a comparison for people, so it's easier to understand. So yun mga lines, yung mga racing pigeons that we have here. I think na hindi na nyo kanya na sa big clubhouse, we have yung gay charity mo. We have yun mga USK Tyson. Did you know that the standard air speed of mga US mga homers is one mile per minute? So it's 1,690 meters per minute. As compared to the Philippine standard of 750 meters per minute, it's almost double the air speed. So yesterday, we were we had some guests over. Tapos sinasabi sa amin, sinabi sa amin na ang kalapana naman you don't really need to get a good one. Para kung magaling yan, dapat na sa pagkain and maintenance and training lang. Well, we said, tama ka, you're 50% correct. If you have a 
regular line and you feed them good food, do correct training, of course, you improve yan. Then you have a good bird. But if you start off with a good line, with a good bird, with good genetics and good bloodline, you're 50% there. You have 50% higher chances of winning. Kasi maganda na yun eh. All you need to do is just gandahan yung food, the maintenance and the training, then it's more than starting off with a regular line. So, yung customer namin yesterday was like, oh nga no, sa bagay. Kasi what, what he does was getting regular birds, also maganda yung food, maganda yung training, but in the end, like during training, he loses a lot of birds. So, nangyayari, he always has to restock. Restock and restock after every season. So, parang hindi niya isisip yung losses or yung mga computations and expenses niya because of the losses. So, we told him, why not you invest in good birds, di ba? You invest in good birds so you have higher survival, higher chances, higher chances of having the birds come back. And then, you just do your regular regimen. In the end, you save a lot. Kasi, mas higher yung chances of wabalik sila sa'yo and everything. So, higher chances of winning. And he was like, oh yeah, I never thought of that. So, it's just something to share. So, we have the blue bar, the checks, the dark checks, the harlequins, the red bar. Then, here are some of the lines from the Taiwan Racing that we have. Medyo mahirap to show some PowerPoint because the details are so tiny, but when you go around, they're all blown up in tarpaulin. So, may kita ninyo lahat ng mga information. Then also, part of what we're raffling off is the U.S. Flying Picklers. They're from the bloodlines of Globat, Davis, Holland, and Lewis. For those, kasi karamihan dito or Everyone that's here are on the racing pigeons. Konti lang siguri like a fancy or maybe not even. But I want to share lang about the flying tipler. Kasi mami ang hunger na ako na flying tipler and they're like, yung flying tipler so racing. So hindi sa appreciate. But kasi the flying tipler is the king of all flying birds. They're the only bird that holds the world record of flying 22 hours non-stop. So, flying birds for, from all the lines of mga pigeons or freedom pigeons this is the number one it's the king of all flying birds that's why by our research we came up with our own tipler scalas over there we have birds that are a week two weeks in training and they're already flying ang magandahan doon kaibahan sa racing mamiya ba't nakin ako ng mga baso dito dahil siya sabi ko mas maganda yung tipler but <laughs> yun racing kasi what's nakawalan mo isang ikot lang din zoom they're not inside. Unless they're training, you're just asking them to fly. But the tipplers, once you release them, ang ginagawa nila is kung aren't in loft nila, they just fly up, up to the clouds, just there, above the loft. So you can just sit there, get a, get a sofa, get a bench, just look up, sip coffee, sip beer, whatever, and look at your tipplers flying on top of their lofts. And they fly up to really, really tiny dots. So, others, they need binoculars just to see yung mga tipplers nila fly. So, yun yung kagandahan ng tipplers. So, yun yung mga babae na mga nandito na they're not into racing and gambling and whatever. It's nice to keep tipplers. I mean, I really enjoy keeping them. Then, 